Okay, step seven, halfway mark. Uh, for this step, we will not need the chassis. Uh, what we will need is metal support rod for a hotbed. Or if you're doing a, a, a LT at this point, uh, it's not a hotbed, it's just the regular print bed. Uh, you'll need two zip ties. You'll need the this bed support here. You'll need the other small bed support. long and four screws so in your screws that are left over there should be three thinner ones uh, there should be two middle sized ones and then three big ones so three long big ones and then you also need the two Middle size big ones. That's it. Okay. Well, and you also need the hop head and hop head cables. So, this is also something that's different than the instruction manual, the original instruction manual. Uh, the final hop head connectors we're using, so basically. On one end it's all the same. Uh, you've got the four pin connector, two pin connector, but on the other end it's a six pin connector. Uh, that, that's what's different between the original instruction manual and uh, this one. And then, assuming you've got the hotbed, uh, this is the final hotbed, well, the final pre production hotbed. The production hotbed uh, will have solder mask. Uh, on the back side as well. Uh, they'll have this type of connector, as you can see, uh, and it's got this handy little cover with a empty box. Yeah. Um, if you have a hotbed that has this exposed, just be a little bit careful with it. It's generally pretty robust, but uh, at the same time, uh, be nice to it. So, getting started with the step. Actually, there's a lot of pieces, but at the same time, it's pretty fast stuff. Okay, so um, for this stage, uh, we'll need this support, this metal bar. You see there's two holes in the metal bar. There's two uh, little tabs sticking out here. Make sure, so you can see that the support is not symmetrical. Uh, just make sure that the supports are closer to this end of the bar. Like so. So, again, these supports, they're not centered. Put them closer to the end of the bar. Take the wire tie, the zip tie, put it through the holes in the base of 
with the support. Cinch it right up. Now you're going to want to get this as tight as you can without just all the other breaking it. That's kind of where the uh, neon nose pliers come in. And then you can clip off the extra using the wire cutters. Careful to not overdo them because you can basically pull it so so hard that it, it will wind up breaking them. And just clip the rest so it should look something like this. Okay. And then, next step, so this end piece, so goes in just like this. So you can see that the uh, post faces up the same direction as these guys. And then just put a single screw in through the back side. Make sure that it winds up straight, so even if it gets started crooked, um, be sure to straighten it out. And this is a pretty tight screw, so we'll take a bit of force just to screw it in. springs with your end caps on the tops. So and then your hot bed will fit down on top of them. that this is the easiest route to get them started. Looks like our there. You might actually find that it's easier to kind of get these guys in place first. Looks like if you do slide on, but it seems like there is a little bit of catch at the beginning sometimes. Okay, so I'm gonna instead. So yeah, so maybe start with the springs coming through the hot bed, um, and then put the, the springs on top, and then feed these down onto it all at the same time. And you should be able to get the screws started into the bosses without screwing anything like that. And like So 
So if you just get a couple of turns on each, that will kind of secure it. Make sure the screws are actually going into the bosses. about five of them gap between the top support. 